Every 10 minutes, this little computer gives me a chance to win over $300,000 in Bitcoin. The catch? Well, the catch is this. The odds are so highly stacked against me. But I'm feeling lucky today. Are you? So how does this even work? Let's break down what's actually happening when this thing mines Bitcoin. Bitcoin mining is not this. You're not going out into the wilderness with a pickaxe and digging up in the ground for coins. That's, that's ridiculous. It's actually about securing a global network. And miners like this are computers. And those computers compete with each other to solve a super hard math problem, basically just guessing random numbers that we in Bitcoin call hashes. Each guess is like a lottery ticket. And the more powerful your miner, the faster it can guess and the more tickets you get per second. And ultimately, the goal in all of this is to be the one lucky miner that finds the one lucky guess or hash, and that makes a new block in Bitcoin valid. And when that happens, boom, miner gets the full block reward plus all the transaction fees inside it worth today over $300,000. Each block is like a page in Bitcoin's ledger. It records all the recent transactions. And when a miner finds a valid block, the rest of the network comes together and verifies it. And if everything checks out, it gets added to the chain forever. You may have heard this term blockchain. This is where it comes from. Each block is chained to the next, going all the way back to the first one called the Genesis block. And all of that is secured by this global mining competition. Now, the more people mining, the harder it gets. See, Bitcoin was coded wisely, and it will automatically adjust its difficulty to make sure that blocks are found roughly every 10 minutes. No faster, no slower. So even if a ton of new miners join, it doesn't speed things up. Bitcoin just makes the math problem harder. So that's where devices like this come in. It's not powerful enough to compete with the industrial commercial mining farms, but it can solo mine. It has a place. Meaning, it's like buying a single ticket in a massive global lottery. You will probably mine for your entire life and you will get nothing. Or you could get insanely lucky and it has happened and you can win a full block. And that block again is worth well over $300,000. Most people like me, we just run these for fun, to learn, or just support the Bitcoin network, not to get rich. But there is a chance there is a chance you could hit that golden Bitcoin block, and that would be a thrill. So that's Bitcoin mining, simply, very simply explained. It's a global competition where computers turn electricity into security, and for doing that, they get rewarded in Bitcoin. Let's take a closer look at this specific miner in action. We're gonna break down its hash power and really just figure out what the odds are that it could actually hit a Bitcoin block. This little computer is called the Zyber 8S, and it's made by a company called Tiny Chip Hub. It's a pretty powerful solo lottery style miner. It does up to 6.4 terahash per second, and we're gonna see why that matters a little later in this video. And to do that, it uses about 140 watts of electricity. Now there's a lot going on when you look at it, but buried deep inside there is a computer chip that's performing all the work to be the first to guess that winning hash for the next Bitcoin block. And as you can imagine, doing all of that work and using that electricity produces heat. So it's got a well-designed cooling solution from its heat sink and its fans to remove the heat and keep it working at its peak performance. An integrated color display right on the front shows you important information like its hashing rate, the power it's using, current fan speeds, temperature, and network information. All of this connects back to a web interface that makes it very easy to set up tweak or monitor the Zyber 8S. Let's go take a look. Initial setup of this thing could not be easier. On its integrated display, it's gonna walk you through exactly what to do to get it onto your home network. Once you've done that, it will show you its IP address, which you can put in right to your web browser. You're gonna log in there and you're gonna be greeted with Axe OS. That's the operating system that this thing runs on. And you're gonna have some information right away on the screen about its performance. We're gonna get back to that in a second because you have to take a really important step first, and that is to get a Bitcoin address. This is where that Bitcoin will be paid out to should you hit that golden Bitcoin block. So I think the easiest way to do this is on Coinbase. So go to coinbase.com, sign up for an account, and then once you're in there, you're gonna go to assets, you're gonna go to Bitcoin, and you're gonna click on new receiving address. And this is now your Bitcoin address that your Bitcoin will be paid out to. Now that you've done that, you have a really important decision to make. Now this whole video we've talked about solo mining, lottery mining, winner take all, going up against everybody else to see if you could get lucky. And if you wanna do that, you're gonna to have to use a pool to send your mining power to so it can connect it to the Bitcoin network. 
And the one you're gonna use is called CK Pool. I'll leave a link for it down in the video description below. It has all the instructions on how to set it up for any mining machine. You also do have another option though we really haven't talked about it, and that is pool mining. That is getting small, consistent Bitcoin rewards every single day, and we're really talking about 25 cents worth in Bitcoin paid to your Bitcoin address. So it's like, if you wanted to do that, then I recommend you use the pool via BTC. I'll leave a link for that down in the video description as well. Now, whatever one you choose, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the pool settings in your dashboard for your mining machine, and you're gonna enter in the information that it tells you to on both of those websites, whether you use CK pool or via BTC. Once you've done that, that's it. It's, it's ready to go. It is mining, whether it's mining solo mining to CK pool or it's mining and getting consistent rewards over on via BTC, you can now monitor performance in three places on those websites, on those pools themselves, in the dashboard and Axe operating system, or even on the device itself with its integrated display. So that's, that's it, you're done. But you can go a little step further if you wanna to go to some advanced settings. So in Axe OS for this machine, you're gonna have a few different options for its performance. When you go to settings, there's gonna be three modes that you can run this thing on. You can run it on eco, you can run it on normal, or you can run it on performance. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna overclock or underclock the ASIC chip, the little computer chip inside this miner to get less or more performance out of it. Maybe you don't wanna use as much power, so you go to eco, or maybe you want your best odds in front of you and you're gonna give it the most juice you can and you're gonna go over to performance. And if you wanna go even more advanced than that, you can enable overclock mode. Overclock mode allows you to adjust the frequency of the chip itself that it's running at and the core voltage, how much power it's getting pushed to it. And if you like overclocking computers or anything else, this is gonna be your place to live. So that's it. That is almost everything that you need to get this machine up and running, get it mining, but there's one really important thing we haven't covered yet, and that is what the actual odds are that it could hit that golden Bitcoin block. Here's where we get to have some fun, and we're gonna break down what the actual odds are that this Zyber 8S could hit a Bitcoin block. Now, we're gonna do this pretty efficiently in this video, but if you wanna see a full, in-depth breakdown, I'm gonna leave a video linked up on the card above for you to explore a little bit further. So you gotta know a couple things to figure this out, and the first is you have to know the hash rate of your actual machine, and we're just gonna use five terahash. That's where I'm running it at right now. I can know it can do a little bit more if I push it, but just for example, say like we're gonna use that five terahash. Now, how about Bitcoin? You gotta know Bitcoin's current network hash rate. All the machines that are on their network, what does it equate to? Now, Bitcoin just eclipsed recently Zeta hash, so it's at one Zeta hash. So now we gotta do some conversions because we're talking Zeta hash, we're talking Terra hash. So one Zeta hash, if we bring it back down to Terra hash, is actually one billion. So we got one billion Terra hash on the Bitcoin network and my machine is contributing five Terra hash to that. Okay, now let's do some math. We gotta break this down. Let's calculate the actual odds that I could hit the next Bitcoin block with this machine. So to do that, we're gonna take that one billion terahash and we're gonna divide it by the five terahash that my machine is currently doing. And what that is going to tell me is that the odds are 200 million to one that I could hit the next Bitcoin block. I hope I didn't just break your heart. But there's 144 Bitcoin blocks in a day because in the beginning of this video, you learned that they run about every 10 minutes. So that's even more chances that I could get a Bitcoin block. So let, let's do that math. So we're gonna take that 200 million and we're gonna divide that by 144 Bitcoin blocks in a day. And we're gonna learn that per day, my actual odds are 1,388,888 to one that I could hit a Bitcoin block in a day. Still probably breaking your heart, I'm sorry. So we're just gonna go all the way out to a year and see what the actual odds are that this thing could hit a Bitcoin block in a year. So we're gonna take that same math that we did and we're gonna divide that now by 365. And at the end of all of that, we're gonna learn that the odds are 3,805 to one that I could hit a Bitcoin block with this machine in a year. Said a different way, this machine should hit a Bitcoin block once every 3,805 years but I'm feeling lucky. 
Okay, I hope you had some fun in this video breaking down this Cyber 8S. If you wanna go a little bit further, like I said, a video linked on the screen right here for you to check out the whole breakdown of solo mining and pool mining and more math and how to calculate all this stuff. And then if you don't wanna buy anything to get ready, I totally understand, but if you got a computer with a good GPU in it at home, I'm gonna show you how you can get started with that machine. Check out the video on the screen right here on how to mine Bitcoin with your PC. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like button if you did, sub to the channel. See you in the next one.